All right, so in this problem, I have 33 to the power of 66 over 66 to the power of 33. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rewrite 66 here as two times 33. So now 33 to the power of 66 over two times 33 to the power of 60, or sorry, the power of 33. And now this is the same thing as 33 to the power of 66 over two to the power of 33 times 33 to the power of 33. Now, if I take out the two to the power of 33 here, I have one over two to the power of 33 times 33 to the power of 66 over 33 to the power of 33. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m over a to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m minus n. So 33 to the power of 66 over 33 to the power of 33, that's going to equal 33 to the power of 36, 66 minus 33. And 66 minus 33, that's simply just 33. So now I have 1 over 2 to the power of 33 times 33 to the power of 33. And now this is equal to 33 to the power of 33 over 2 to the power of 33. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m over b to the power of m, this is equal to a over b to the power of m. So 33 to the power of 33 over 2 to the power of 33, that's going to equal 33 over 2 to the power of 33. So, this is my answer. All right, so in this problem, I have one over 216 to the power of two x is equal to x. Now, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the reciprocal on both sides. So this is the same thing as 216 to the power of 2x over 1 is equal to 1 over x. And now 216 to the power of 2x over 1, well, anything divided by 1 is itself. So this is the same thing as 216 to the power of 2x, which is equal to 1 over x. Now I'm going to take the power of 1 over x on both sides. So now if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So 216 to the power of 2x to the power of 1 over x, well, 2x times 1 over x, the x's simply cancel out. So I'll be left with is 2 times 1, which is 2. So now I have 216 to the power of 2 is equal to 1 over x to the power of 1 over x. Now, 216 here, this is the same thing as six to the power of three. So now I have six to the power of three to the power of two is equal to one over x to the power of one over x. Now, if I have something form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So six to the power of three times two, three times two is six. So now I have six to the power of six is equal to one over x to the power of 1 over x. Now if I have something in form a to the power of a is equal to b to the power of b, this means that a is equal to b. So in this case, 6 is equal to 1 over x. Now if I multiply both sides by x, these two cancel out, 
and I get 6x is equal to 1. <clears throat> so now if I divide both sides by 6, I get x is equal to 1 over 6. So this is my answer. All right, so in this problem, I have 5 to the power of x is equal to 6. So to solve this, what I'm first going to do is I'm going to take the log on both sides. So now I have log 5 to the power of x is equal to log 6. Now, if I have something to form log a to the power of b, I can move this exponent of b to the front. So it's going to equal b times log a. So in this case, log 5 to the power of x, I can move x to the front. So this is equal to x times log 5, which is equal to log 6. Now, if I divide both sides by log 5, these two cancel out, and I get x is equal to log 6 over log 5. Now, log 6, this is equal to 0 0.77815 and log 5 this is equal to 0 0.69897 so if I substitute in these values back into my equation here I get x is equal to 0 0.77 815 over 0 0.69897. And if I divide these two, I get x is equal to 1.113. So now to check, I have 5 to the power of x is equal to 6. And I know that x is equal to 1.113, so I have 5 to the power of 1.113 is equal to 6. Now, 5 to the power of 1.113, that's actually equal to 5.997. And this is approximately equal to 6. So I have 6 is equal to 6. So my answer is right.